Are you ready for the easiest way to style your face portraits? Today's guide is your golden ticket to conquering the intricate dance of stable diffusion, control net, and IP adapter technologies. We're about to turn your face portraits into personalized masterpieces. Transforming a high-quality face portrait into your preferred style serves as an excellent means of expressing your artistic creativity. Why not give your profile picture a refreshing update every now and then? Witness for yourself how we've taken the stunning faces of some actresses and imbued them with a whole new style. Now let's meet Monica. She's absolutely stunning, but here's the twist. Her face portrait is in black and white. Now you might be thinking, do I need to be a scientist to turn this image into our preferred style? Well, fear not. Our face portrait styling method can turn that grayscale beauty into something vibrant and lively. It's like a scientist discovering a magical formula in a flask. Monica's portrait is about to be the masterpiece of colorful chemistry. Even the chemistry professor agrees with our approach. Let's hear what he has to say about our portrait styling oh, oh, method. Oh, 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 I'm Bill Clinton. Oh, Monica, Monica. Well, that's been enough chemistry for today. Let's shift gears and explore how to install the required extension to create your very own styled face portrait. Let's ensure we have the necessary extensions prepared for this creative journey. The first crucial step is installing the ControlNet extension, acting as our backbone. If you haven't installed the ControlNet extension yet, don't worry. You can find a written guide on our website, or there's a video tutorial available to guide you through the installation process. Now on to the next and final component, the IP adapter face model. To effectively transfer and manipulate your facial features, you'll need a specialized IP adapter model designed explicitly for faces. For this, head over to the Hugging Face IP adapter models page. I'll include all the links in the description as usual. Once you're on the Hugging Face website, locate the IP adapter plus face SD15 safe tensors file. After downloading the file, Here's what you need to do to make it ready for use. Move the downloaded file from your downloads folder to the ControlNet models folder, just as I'm showing you here. Now that we've successfully installed the ControlNet extension and the IP face adapter model, let's confirm their visibility within the Stable Diffusion web UI. Head over to the Text to Image tab, and as you scroll down, take note of the expansion panel for the ControlNet extension. Upon opening this panel and selecting the IP adapter control type, make sure that the IP adapter plus face SD15 model is available for selection. If for any reason you don't find this model in the options, there are two troubleshooting steps you can take. First, try clicking the blue refresh icon on the right side to update the models. If the model is still not visible, double check the placement of the file to ensure it's in the correct folder mentioned in the previous section. Once everything appears correct on the user interface, we're ready to dive into creating our first styled face portrait. Let's give it a shot. Before we kick off, I wanna make sure you're aware that the Safe Tensors model file needs the latest ControlNet version to work properly. To get this, let's go to the Extensions tab, click on Check for Update, and then hit Apply and Restart UI. Once the user interface has restarted and you're equipped with the latest ControlNet version, Ensuring the face model operates smoothly, let's proceed to style a face portrait. Head to the Text to Image tab, scroll down, open the ControlNet expansion panel, and place a face portrait of your choice onto the ControlNet canvas. For our example, we'll use a charming image of the red-haired Emma Stone. After you've positioned your image on the canvas, be sure to activate the ControlNet unit by checking the Enable checkbox. Additionally, opt for the Pixel Perfect setting. Now, choose the IP adapter control type, ensuring that the IP adapter plus face SD15 is selected as our model. The remaining control net settings can be left as they are, using their default values. With the control net configuration complete, let's scroll back to the top. Here, we kick things off by selecting our checkpoint, which will act as our initial styling foundation. Depending on your chosen checkpoint, the result may vary. For this initial example, let's go with the Tune You Checkpoint, known for its exaggerated cartoon aesthetic. Now, it's prompt creation time. Since we're crafting a face portrait, I'll incorporate specific keywords into the prompt. 
If you'd like to use this prompt while following along with this tutorial, it's available on our website in a written tutorial. Feel free to check out our website for a plethora of exciting new content. Once the prompt and negative prompt are filled in, let's fine tune some settings. For the sampling method, we'll opt for the DPM plus plus 2M Keras method, which recommended by the Tune You checkpoint. We'll choose 30 sampling steps, but feel free to increase the steps for enhanced results. Now, for the width and height, we'll maintain a one-to-one -one ratio, ideal for a face portrait. Set the seed to minus one, click the generate button, and behold your uniquely styled face portrait. And voila! If the outcome doesn't quite match your expectations, you have the option to tweak the prompt with specific keywords or improve your image using the Hires Fix feature. Typically, your selected checkpoint provides specific suggestions for upscaling settings. In the instance of the Tune You checkpoint, it suggests the following settings for upscaling your image. Now that we've wrapped up our initial styled face portrait with the Tune You checkpoint, feel free to explore a variety of checkpoints for distinctive styles. Let's jump in and examine some of our preferred checkpoints using an XYZ plot. The XYZ plotting method functions as a swift and efficient tool for evaluating different checkpoints and their transformative impact on our initial face portrait. So, let's get to plotting. Start by clicking the XYZ plot script under the script expansion panel to access the options. Once you've selected the XYZ plot, a panel will appear where you can customize and fill in specific settings based on your desired comparison parameters. Now, it's time for our comparison. We'll be comparing different checkpoints against various sampling methods. For this, we'll need the following settings. Set X type to checkpoint name. Choose the checkpoints you want to compare as X values. Set Y type to sampler and choose the sampling methods you want to compare as Y values. Of course, you have the freedom to incorporate additional checkpoints and sampling methods within the XYZ plot. Furthermore, you can introduce another Z type to compare additional parameters. However, for the sake of this tutorial, we'll stick to comparing three checkpoints against three different sampling methods. Here's the outcome. This is why I appreciate the XYZ plot. You can swiftly identify your preferred style at a glance. Here, it's clear that the Tune You checkpoint adds an exaggerated cartoon style to the face portrait, distinguishing itself from the ref animated and fantastic mix checkpoints. So, go ahead and conduct an XYZ plot to discover which checkpoint suits your preferred style. Now that we've explored the process of conducting an XYZ plot, let's delve into the exciting task of bringing Monica back to life. I believe this is the moment we've all been eagerly anticipating. Begin by deactivating the XYZ plot. Choose None as the script option. Next, place Monica onto the canvas and scroll to the top, where all we need to do is add black and white to the negative prompt. This simple addition ensures that Monica will be revived with vibrant colors. Now, all that's left for you to do is click the Generate button to initiate a chemical reaction. And behold, there she is vibrant as can be. I trust you found this video enjoyable, and don't hesitate to continue experimenting with crafting your own styled face portrait. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.